All right, so Reaper 6.81 has uh, been released this week. It's mostly a bug fix update, but there are some things probably worth looking at. So let's do that now. Action window, add second or number two and D as default synonyms. Just a reminder, you can um, add additional synonyms when you are or for searching the action list by editing the language pack. So if we search for second, the word second and two and D should come up here. Yeah, second pass render, things like that. So if you search for second pass, typing in all letters, 2ND pass will come through, come up. So there, there's lots of little things like that. Allow removing shortcut by hitting delete while shortcut list is focused. All right, so back to back to Reaper. Let's, um, let's take some action, this custom clear all selection. So if I select this and then press the delete key, that will remove it. You don't have to click the button there, which is cool. Nice, helpful thing. If media file contains tempo metadata and file name also suggest a tempo, prefer the metadata tempo. Makes sense. You got to pick one. That seems like the best one to pick. When tempo matching, respect tempo embedded in metadata, even if the resulting file length is a fractional number of beats. Interesting. Fix adding multiple actions at once. Yeah, there was a bug where if you select a bunch of um, actions to add to a toolbar, they will kind of be almost a random order. So now that should work fine. So we're going to go to the menu, menu editor. And let's say, I don't know, floating toolbar. Go to add, action list comes up. Let's just take these four things. I'm going to do select and close. And that puts them in, in the same order that I selected them. Previously, they would kind of be random order. When using trim and stretch markers, better handle corner cases. So this is something that came up as a sort of a Reaper bug with uh, that was found by the project archiver script we talked about two weeks ago so that's a sort of a corner case edge case rarely used thing uh, if you if you have stretch markers in items and you use the truncate or trim function when you're doing a save as and copying the media um, that should work better now video improve ui for audio preferences in video source properties dialog all right, let's check that one out. This will be the last thing. So if I right click source properties, this is new. Audio, use global default low res peaks. So these are new options, just kind of a redesign of this. So um, you can disable audio, you can disable the peaks, use global. Yeah, so setting it to disable audio and that okay, and that removes the, uh, the audio from that video clip. Pretty simple stuff. And that's what's new in Reaper 6.81. Not a whole lot to talk about, a couple little things, but yeah, that's it.